The federal government's plan to close a worker hiring gap is facing a targeted campaign from some of Australia's largest employers and small business groups who say it unfairly punishes those who work harder or have more experience. Key points business groups are lobbying against the government's plan to require hired workers to be paid the same rate as direct workers. Business groups lobby against government's plan to require hired to be paid the same rate as direct workers mining, farming and construction employers, and others argue proposal would penalize who work harder or with more experience mining. Farming and construction employers and others argue the proposal would penalize workers who work harder or with more experience summit bodies for mining, oil, construction, farming, and small and large businesses launched a national campaign against proposed. Same job, same pay workplace reforms, they pay the same wages as directly employed workers. The government is still consulting on legislation, but says businesses should have access to hire workers for job increases, not as a gap to suppress wages. Business groups fear that the law will mean that employees with little knowledge or experience will be paid the same as employees with decades of knowledge and experience. How fair is it for someone with six months of experience to charge the same wages as someone with six years of experience? Tanya Constable, Chair of the Minerals Council. Our workplaces should be about fairness, reward for effort, and experience. It's not a comprehensive approach fails to understand that all workplaces are unique and employee ambition and values are diverse. Treasurer Jim Chalmers said the campaign was misleading and flatly denied that it would prevent employers from rewarding experience or hard work. This ISNT about stopping businesses from gaining experience. It's about making sure workers are eligible for wages and conditions that employers have agreed with their workforce, Chalmers told ABC. For example, it's about closing loopholes to make sure hiring or temporary workers or casual are used as intended. The federal government has yet submit law to parliament, but the consultation document suggested that overtime or incentives covered in an employee's employment contract can only be paid a hired worker if they meet same conditions. The consultation document does not directly address business concerns about paying for age or experience. Industrial Relations and Employment Minister Tony Burke described some of arguments put forward in campaign as nonsense, pointing out that proposal has not yet been fully disclosed by government. Businesses can spend as much money as they want on an ad campaign against a policy that I have never voiced, Burke said. I have to say the government is talking about closing the loopholes, and what some of these businesses are talking about is totally insane. Mr. Burke argued that the government wanted to close 